Mom. 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 Please play Minecraft. All right. So I'm sure it's on the minds of several people. They were with me when I went treasure hunting. So they should know that we have enough to create an enchanting table. Dev made us a book when he came and saw the goodies I'd collected for him. That, by the way, is the shape you put it into the crafting table to make your uh, to make your enchanting table. Yes, that's right. Table. Say table twice. Okay. See if I can remember what I just took out of the chest. <laughs> no laughing, boys and girls. All right, there we go. I'm gonna wait to set this up though. I don't see any reason in setting it down yet. Um, plenty of reasons. Uh, we can easily put. Uh, First off, we're on one seven four, so we don't need lapis for enchanting, um, and we can easily enchant our stone items with level one enchants to make them last longer. Um, two, a uh, stone pick will pick it up, so and not destroy it. So it will, again, really, yes. So again, uh, plenty of reasons to put it down. We've made it put it down start enchanting um, it's not going to hurt now you're not going to get level 30 enchants you're only going to get a uh, couple levels of enchantments um, here's the thing the difference between a level 1 enchant and a level 10 enchantment is absolutely nothing except that you've wasted nine levels of of your experience um, it isn't until you get to the 11th level that you can get better enchants. So if you don't have enough bookcases, um, that's how you increase the enchantments that you can get out of the enchanting table, surrounding the, uh, the enchanting table. Um, if you don't have enough bookcases to get it up to a level 11, um, then what you really want to do is just do a level 1 enchant. Okay. Now, I've got two level ones here. Both have different writing next to them. Is there any way to tell the difference between which is which? Like, maybe in, I want whatever in a pick. and In 1.74, no. Uh, the latest snapshots, um, they do add um, a little bit of a preview in what you're going to get on those enchants. Um, and it, that becomes hard coded to that particular item. Yeah, you can't get anything else. Uh, you can. It requires another object. Um, so you put in a a sword, and it says unbreaking, uh, smite, and uh, fortune. And maybe you're not looking for any of that. Mm -hmm. Um. You're, you're, you're guaranteed to get that on it for e each of those tiers. You might get more, you might not, but you're guaranteed at least that. But let's say you don't want any of those three. Well, then you put that sword aside, and you put something else in the enchanting table, say a pair of boots, and enchant them and maybe you don't care what you get on those boots so you know they're like leather boots and you take a level one you've enchanted something you take that sword you put it back in you'll actually get three new uh, potential enchants for that same sword oh. but if you don't enchant something every time you put that sword in there you will get the original three enchants so that's how that works all right, so I'm going to enchant this pick. It's a brand new pick. It hasn't been used yet. Stone pickaxe efficiency one. That's useful on a pick. Yep. Might as well do the armor. Yep. 
projectile protection. Protection is a little more useful in the long run than projectile protection. Yes and projectile no. Projectile protection only protects you from projectiles. Protection yes. protects you from anything. Yes, but the focused one, projectile protection, will actually offer you better protection against projectiles than the protection one will. So if you're going to be taking on skeletons, having a bunch of projectile protection one will actually, uh, on all of your armor pieces, will actually protect you better than armor that's all project protection one. So blast or fire, which is it anyway? Is it blast protection or fire protection? There is fire protection, there's blast protection, okay. and there's Blast projectile. is creepers and gas, primarily, right? Correct, correct. Blaze, maybe, right? Or is blaze fire? Blaze is going to be the fire, Even uh, though lava. the fireballs hit you, but it's not a blast. Okay. Correct. Dev with his straight rows of perfection. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wonder why he and I play together. <laughs> I'm going to go make you some more torches. How about that? That help, honey? Okay. Don't want to fall down there. Okay. I'm going to build this a little bridge. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe I will. I don't know. I have to break your bed. <gasps> How could you? Um. Well, I swung the torch <laughs> multiple times, <laughs> and um, it went poof mm. <laughs> at the end of it. Here, I broke mine too, okay. There you go. So we're both at risk of losing everything we have. Mm. Oh, I forgot to enchant this. Now, and this is a good example. Um, so I put an iron sword in. Different materials are going to be able to accept different enchants. Um, gold is actually going to be able to accept higher in chance than the iron will um, and obviously iron better than uh, stone and believe it or not gold actually accepts higher in chance than um, than diamond and what I mean by higher in chance uh, a level one enchantment might net you something better on a material that accepts higher in chance so with a level one enchant, you can get uh, something higher on gold than you can on, say, a diamond. Uh, in this case, I put in an iron sword, and I got, uh, with one level enchanting, uh, unbreaking one and sharpness one. Um, so while that's not great, but for a level one enchant, <laughs> that's pretty darn good. I'm uh, headed to bed. Oh, okay. Just because I, I looked up from the chest and realized that was the moon rising. It was. Now, again, this torch gridding that I'm doing is good, but ultimately this isn't what we're going to want in our storage room. It isn't. Um, no. Well, I will do something like this on the ground in my storage area slash house slash whatever you want to call it. I do have a tendency to be more... Um, I want it to be more aesthetic. I don't want to see torches everywhere. 
That we can agree on. And there's ways of doing that either by construction or by um, hiding the lighting. And some of that lighting will actually require additional resources. Um, there are blocks that um, give off light called glowstone or redstone lamps. Um, too much of that can sometimes, personally, I think, be just as bad as too many torches. Um, but if done well, uh, I think it, it can look decent. Here, Dev. Wait, you said shift Q. It's not working. Is it control Q? That Contr makes more sense. Control Q. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to doing the right, just doing it. I don't think. The other aspect of doing this torch gridding is um, this is where our, our supplies are going to be. We really don't want creepers spawning and blowing stuff up. No. Um, so. Oh, hello, troublesome. Did you already? Nope. Okay. I thought you could summon the creepers. Not yet. Oh, I'm sure it's in there, though. Oh, you want to play? Apparently he does. I don't even want your XP. <laughs> Ooh. We're going to need to light up that little cavern down there. Um. Or do you think that's... Thought I wouldn't see it, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't see it, huh? Uh -huh. <sighs> you see... It's easy to see because you can stand in one spot and see nice rows, stand in another spot and see nice rows and patterns and yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice try, lady. Um, honestly, I have no preset to whether we light up the cavern or not. Um, in fact, I can hear some zombies down there. Oh, I thought it... Is that a slime? No, that's a zombie. Oh, I thought I heard a slime. He dropped a tata. Bones. Whoop. Locals. Ow. Come out. Come out. Come out. Oh, yep. Coming out. Lost. Come out. I'm out of arrows. <laughs> See? Can I get the one out of your head? Nope. Sorry. That's a pity. Ow. The headache. No, really? I don't know why. Now, 
I'm going to need to make arrows. You make arrows with flint, which comes from gravel, feathers, which come from chickens, and sticks, because you got to have an arrow shaft. And look at this. There's a lot of gravel over here. And you might want to explain that um, you can't gravity mine the gravel to get the flint. Oh yeah. Now gravity mining is when let me go and set that up for you. Let's see here. Here's some gravel. There's four pieces. Now, gra gravel is uh, reacts to gravity like sand, so it falls. Sand and gravel are the only two blocks in. Ah, uh, okay, anvils. But I was gonna say anvils, uh, right? Natural blocks that follow gravity. Uh, gravity rules. All right, now. Gra the gravity blocks can't land on torches. Uh, or half slabs. Or half slabs or anything else. So. Well. They could land on another block. So you pop a torch underneath it before it has a chance to block update. And you end up with free mined gravel. Which doesn't get you flint. Flint comes only when you use a shovel to clear it out. So, I'm going to need some of that dirt. I'm going to have to go back and get some. Uh, the second chest has nothing but dirt. And you'll notice now I have fallen under the water and it is taking a substantially much longer time to dig than it was. There is an enchantment that can fix that. Uh, it is... Is it Aqua Affinity? No, Aqua Affinity lets you see and breathe longer. It's the other enchant. Um, and I'm trying to think what it is. Let me look that up. Chanting. Respiration. Respiration. Oh, wait, no, no. I was going to say. Oh, wait. yeah. No, it's, it is Aqua Affinity. Ah, it increases underwater mining speed. I'm sorry. Check there me is, out. There is only one level. Respiration gives you the increased uh, breathing time and uh, uh, increased visibility. Okay. See, I don't know everything. I get, Blasphemy. I get things mixed up. Now it is time to sleep. Why? Look at all these torches. Mm -hmm. And actually, you, you can show them the, the difference here. I mean, you can see if you get away from and you're way off in the La La Land. But it, as you get away from the torched area, you can see the difference as far as the brightness. Um, so stuff is not going to spawn over here, obviously. Hey, uh, yeah, I found another little cave entrance over here. Yeah, this place seems to be um, riddled with it, with cave entrances. Yay! You do pick the good ones, Dev. This was your seat, not mine. 